You ever serve in an infantry unit, son? Um, no, sir. Ever served in a forward area? Uh, no, sir. Ever put your life in another man's hands and ask him to put his life in yours? Uh, not as such, no, sir. I don't think so. We follow orders, son. We follow orders or people die. <laughs> it's simple. Are we clear? Yeah, we are clear. Are we clear? Yeah, crystal... Colonel, I have just one more question before I put Ermen O'Malley and Ermen Rodriguez on the stand. If you gave an order that Santiago wasn't to be touched and your orders are always followed, then why would Santiago be in danger? Why would it be necessary to transfer him off the base? Well... Santiago was a substandard Marine. He was being transferred. Yeah, well, that's not what you said. You said he was being transferred because he was in grave danger. Yeah, well, you said he was in danger. I said grave danger. You said I, 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 I could have the court what reporter I said. read back to you. If I know what I said. I don't have to no, read no, it back wait, to wait, me. Wait, hold on, hold like on. Then why the two orders, Colonel? Sometimes men take matters into their own hands. You made it clear just a moment ago that your men never take matters into their own hands. You men follow orders or people die. So Santiago should not have been in any danger at all. Should he have turned? You snotty little bastard! I'd like an answer to the question. If Lieutenant Kendrick gave an order that Santiago wasn't to be touched, then why did he have to be transferred, Colonel? Lieutenant Kendrick ordered the code red, didn't he? Because that's what you told Lieutenant Kendrick to do. Colonel Jessup, did you order the code red? I'll answer the question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled to it. You want answers? I want the truth. You can't answer the truth, son. <laughs> We live in a world that has walls, and those walls have to be guarded by men with guns. Okay. Who's going to do it? You? You, Lieutenant Weinberg? Oh. I have a greater responsibility, responsibility, than you can possibly fathom. <laughs> you weep for Santiago. You curse the Marines. You have that luxury. You have the luxury of not knowing what I know. That Santiago's death was tragic. Probably save lives. <laughs> and my existence, while grotesque, is incomprehensible to you. Saves lives! You don't want the truth because deep down in places, you don't talk about the parties. You want me on the wall. You only want, you only need me on that wall. We use words like honor, code, loyalty. We use these words as the backbone of life's been defending something. You use them as a punchline. I have neither the time nor the inclination to explain myself to a man who rises and sleeps under the blankie of a very freedom that I provide. Blankie. And then questions the manner in which I provide it. I would rather you just say thank you and win on your way. Otherwise, I suggest you pick up a weapon and stand in a stand up post. Either way, I don't give a damn what you think you're entitled to. Did you order the code red? I did the job. Did you never. order the code red? You goddamn right I did. <laughs> <laughs>